The Love Song He was a knight of noble birth, who served the king with loyalty and courage. She was a lady of the court, who charmed everyone with her beauty and grace. They met at a feast, where he played the lute and sang a song of love. She listened with rapture, and felt a spark in her heart. They exchanged glances, and soon they were in love. But their love was forbidden, for she was betrothed to another man, a powerful lord who coveted her wealth and lands. He was cruel and jealous, and would not let her go. He kept her under his watchful eye, and threatened to harm her if she ever disobeyed him. She was unhappy and afraid, but she had no choice. He was heartbroken, but he did not give up. He wrote her letters, and sent her gifts, and waited for a chance to see her again. He dreamed of eloping with her, and taking her away from her misery. He prayed to the gods, and hoped for a miracle. One day, he heard of a secret garden, where lovers could meet in peace. It was hidden behind a wall, and guarded by a statue of Cupid, the god of love. He learned that if he played a certain tune on the organ, the statue would come to life, and open the gate for him. He decided to try it, and hoped that she would come. He arrived at the garden, and found the organ. He played the tune, and watched as the statue moved. Cupid smiled at him, and nodded. He pulled a lever, and the gate opened. He entered the garden, and looked around. It was a beautiful place, full of flowers and birds. He felt a surge of joy, and hoped that she would come. He waited for a while, and then he saw her. She was wearing a blue dress, and carrying a basket of roses. She looked radiant, and he felt his heart skip a beat. She saw him, and ran towards him. They embraced, and kissed. They were happy, and hoped that no one would find them. They sat on a bench, and talked. They told each other how much they missed each other, and how much they loved each other. They made plans for the future, and dreamed of being together. They sang a love song, and hoped that it would last. But their hope was in vain, for someone had followed them. It was her betrothed, who had grown suspicious of her. He had hired a spy, who had tracked her down. He had followed her to the garden, and watched them from behind a bush. He was furious, and decided to kill them. He drew his sword, and charged at them. They heard him, and turned around. They saw him, and were terrified. They had no time to react, and no chance to escape. He stabbed them both, and watched them fall. He laughed, and felt victorious. But his victory was short-lived, for Cupid had seen him. He was angry, and decided to punish him. He took an arrow, and aimed at him. He shot him, and hit him in the heart. He felt a sharp pain, and then a strange sensation. He looked at the lovers, and felt a sudden remorse. He realized what he had done, and regretted it. He wished he could undo it, and save them. He cried, and felt hopeless. But his wish was impossible, for they were dead. They lay on the ground, still holding each other. They looked peaceful, and smiled. They had died together, and were happy. They had sung a love song, and it had ended.